What is up guys? Welcome back. Here is my new gaming PC. And as you see the last video that I did with the GTX 1080 graphic card, basically I add this card to the APU Beast. And now you can see the whole new computer that I'm going to use in the couple of months and yeah basically that's it I choose the motherboard from ASUS it's a 6 uh, sorry X370 Pro motherboard a Ryzen 5 1600X processor with a new Gen 5 cooler and a very powerful 750 watts power supply from FSP and also the very powerful RAMs from G-Scale, the Trident Z series. And these RAMs are at 3200 MHz with a class cache latency of 60. So basically this here is going to be my gaming and also my working PC. And you can ask the question that okay, why an AMD based rig and why not an Intel one uh, basically I choose this one because you may have heard you know the let's say the issue around the coffee lake processors and also socket and everything and AM4 at least seems to be a better choice at this time of the year at the late 2017 or early eight, uh, 2018 because AMD said that AM4 will be supported at least uh, four more years or three more years. So later you can add a much powerful uh, CPU basically to these ones if the 5 series uh, 1600X wouldn't be enough. But 6 core 12 threads. Uh, running at 3.9 at the moment in my rig, but the core clock, the factory one, is a uh, 3.6 uh, gigahertz. So I think it's more than enough. And also uh, there's a video coming in the couple of days. You will see that how these components performs uh, under gaming, and compared these whole to the APU beast, it's just a totally different world. But of course, it should be a total different word. Uh, so why I choose these components? Uh, the Ryzen 5 chip is a very affordable CPU. Uh, it's around $200. It's, uh, for me, it's more than enough for everything, for gaming and also uh, creating the contents uh, on YouTube. For me, it's enough. Uh, I really wanted to get a very good motherboard uh, that's why I choose ASUS uh, with, the a with AMD's uh, X370 chipset because I think that in the future when newer AMD CPUs uh, will be available uh, hopefully these high-end chipset will support those CPUs so I can upgrade my systems more, uh, system more easily uh, and Skype's new Gen 5 cooler is also a very affordable cooler. Uh, it's around forty dollars, and it's uh, basically it supports the AM4 socket out of the box. So there's the bracket in here, and you don't really need to wait uh, until the supplier sends you the AM4, uh, let's say, bracket. The, which you can you know apply the cooler onto the motherboard so it's absolutely great uh, it's very easy to install and it has very good uh, cooling capacities I think it's, it's one of the best CPU coolers for the AM4 uh, sockets uh, at the market and uh, FSP uh, from power supply uh, the power supply side uh, it was, it was an easy choice because I used an FSP power uh, supply unit for the AMD APU Beast 
and I had no issues with it. Uh, it's a 750 watt unit. Uh, it's more than enough uh, for this whole uh, system basically. But, uh, you know, I just want it to be a little bit more future proof uh, because maybe uh, I will add another uh, GT extended to the system in a couple of months or I just change basically uh, to a more powerful graphics unit or everything else if you had enough if you have enough juice uh, out of the box basically it's just it's just good for you and also it's good for your system and uh, yeah the the graphics card uh, I wanted to add something very great and powerful to this system uh, currently I'm playing on 1080p resolution uh, because my monitor only supports this resolution, not higher. I cannot play on 2K or 4K. It's not possible uh, at this at this moment in time. But later, if I purchase a new monitor, let's say, uh, which supports uh, 4K or 2K or QHD, these graphic cards will be powerful enough to, you know, be capable of uh, playing at that higher resolution uh, on the maximum settings so that's why I choose uh, the uh, GTX 1080 and also previously uh, around 10 or 13 years ago I had a Nvidia or a GeForce card from GameWord so that's why I choose uh, this manufacturer GameWord and the, the Phoenix series its cooling is absolutely great uh, the card is a bit heavy it's very long uh, it has a 8 plus 6 uh, power phase connector, but beyond this the cooling is absolutely amazing. It's a very quiet card, so I think it was a good choice and also the price is absolutely acceptable. Uh, if you see that how the other manufacturers uh, provide these GTX 1080 cards, uh, it's among the, not the cheapest, but uh, in the mid-range. So that's why I choose uh, a Phoenix uh, card from GameWord. So I really like it so far and uh, you will see that even playing on 1080p it's, it's not a very high resolution because this card is capable of you know uh, giving uh, absolutely great graphics on 4K at 4K but at 1080p it's, it's a beast, it's really a beast. And then the RAMs, uh, I think that G-Skill memories uh, are one of the best uh, nowadays for a Ryzen uh, PC because G-Skill uses uh, Samsung's uh, memories uh, on its uh, RAMs and uh, the compatibility and also the tuning you know and overclocking is uh, much better with these RAMs and these are uh, 3200 megahertz RAMs and I can run these ones in dual channel and at the moment they are running at uh, 3200 megahertz uh, in the PC uh, and it has a very low cache latency 16 so very powerful RAMs again and uh, it's yeah and I forgot to sorry <laughs> mention that these are it's uh, two 8 gigabyte sticks, so I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is how my new PC looks like, and uh, I really, you know, try to choose uh, those components uh, that are not very high end, but uh, a little bit more than you know, not just mid range, but it's somewhere in the upper mid or lower high range. Uh, because I really wanted to have a very powerful uh, system which is capable for gaming in 2017, 2018 and also which is capable of you know doing the job uh, for creating videos and doing all these kinds of work stuff on the computer and I think that this here is absolutely great for this one and the total price is around uh, $1300 uh, approximately or maybe 1400 uh, depends on your country 
uh, but here in Hungary you can get these ones around 13 or 14 hundred dollars so and also just returning back to the, the CPU for a moment I didn't choose the 8 core uh, Ryzen chips because you know having 8 core and 16 threads uh, I just simply wouldn't use that much power because I don't use programs that, ca that are capable of uh, you know using that 8 cores or 16 threads and for gaming it's very important as I uh, told you also in the previous video when I put this card to the system and tested it with the APU that for games you need to have uh, very high core clocks around 4000 uh, 4, MHz or even higher and at least 4 core so if you have at least 4 cores with 4 GHz of speed then it's absolutely great for, uh, for gaming but if you have 8 cores uh, with 3.4 or 3.6 GHz it's not that good but also this Ryzen chip uh, is running on uh, 3.6 GHz on you know the, the stock clocks but it's an X version so in theory uh, I'm able to overclock it beyond 4 GHz so it would be absolutely great for gaming and for working but I haven't overclocked the system yet so I just I will see uh, in just a couple of weeks you know after getting know each other that uh, what are the capabilities of these parts so but for now this is it this is the new beast maybe we can call it a, a Ryzen beast so I hope you will enjoy all the contents that I make with this system and also I think that you will be as interested uh, watching those videos as you were in the past uh, watching the AMD APU beast videos so yeah we see the future is uh, very promising and uh, hopefully I will be able to share you a lot of cool contents in the future so as always thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it and also I'm curious what you are thinking about these ones so please leave your comment in the comment box below and see you very soon and don't forget dream big